Another question about the tax credits, uh, which someone's asking, you know, what does it mean that there's this two thousand dollar cap if if you're, you know, heat pump costs more than that, can you get the credit for multiple years? Um, and my understanding is that that's that's not the case. It's just you get, you can get up to that cap, um, and that's how much credit you're going to get. So, um, the you know the credit clearly is not a <laughs> it's not going to pay for the whole cost of the the heat pump. Um, you'll get up to that two thousand um, or thirty percent, whichever is lower, in the year that you install it. Um, and that's your opportunity. There are some, you know, as as we heard from Emily, some cities or states have their own programs in addition. So um, you'll want to check and and check with your contractors to see if they know of other resources. Um, but that's how the federal credits will will work. I, I don't want to add. I mean, the the that that two thousand dollar heat pump uh, tax credit is one of the better known and and obviously it's a, a very popular one and it's really going to help this audience. But there are other things out there. There is a 30% tax credit for systems with thermal energy storage, if it's a lease model. That's the project level. That's not just the heat pump. That's the whole project. So it's worthwhile looking into it. You know, when you look at the project you're doing, looking into what are the different options that you may be able to access. And of course, there are a slew of local incentives. You know, we've seen incentives stacking up to $15,000, $18,000, depending on where you're sitting and what equipment you're, you're purchasing. So worthwhile doing your homework. Great. Right.